What's up, everybody? It's 2003JL. I just want to take the time out to say thank you to everybody who's been, you know, posting my posting comments on my videos and looking at my videos and people who, the two people who just subscribed to me and everybody who's you know, taking the time out to listen to my, listen to me rant and rave and run my mouth. I really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to try to, I'm talking really fast because I tried, I'm re-recording this. I didn't post the video, but I'm re-recording this because I only have 10 minutes to make videos because I don't have a director's account. And um, I'm going to be looking into that. But anyway, I want to talk about American animation and its comparisons to anime. Now, a lot of people say that anime is, has better quality than American animation. At For the most part, anime, in the current state it is today, anime does have a better quality than American animation. I mean, if you look at the histories of the two, American animation, it has more dense peaks and valleys in terms of quality than anime does, honestly, in my opinion. Um, many studios, they try to find a cheap way out. They do less frames per second and things like that. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's quite common. For the most part, whenever we do a, decide to do an animation series, it's mostly a superhero series. Now, for the most part, this never worked out very well, but it has worked out on two separate occasions when it comes to superhero teams in particular. The first time was with X-Men back in the early to mid-1990s. I fucking loved that show. That was back when I was, you know, I was in second or third grade when it came out. I had collected all the X-Men toys and stuff like that. I was re That's what really got me into reading comic books when I was young, and that started a whole other addiction. And then the second time they did it was when they started Justice League. Now, when they started Justice League, I was a little bit skeptical. That was until they put out Justice League Unlimited, and that's when the fanboy in me really started having... I started having fanboy attacks over that show, because I was looking at characters I never thought would see the light of day on television, and now they're in Justice League, which is really cool. What else? Well, for the most part, good animation, American animation came from Cartoon Network. You just look at shows like Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Laboratory, which won a few Emmys, as is Samurai Jack, which won a few Emmys. I think those are three of my personal favorites. I also like Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is really good. Cow and Chicken was pretty funny. And um, some of the stuff they have on the Adult Swim lineup is really interesting. I mean, if you just look at shows like uh, Moral Oral or uh, The Boondocks, which is my personal favorite right now. Or if you look at a show like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, even though, you know, the animation is not that good, but it's really funny. Frisky Dingo is something that, you know, it'd be hard for people to get into because that's one of the craziest shows I've ever seen. Squid Billies was pretty, pretty funny. And I don't know what happened to Perfect Hair Forever. I wish they would bring it back. Uh, Metal Opcalypse is really good, too. Well, for the most part... At large, if you compare it to shows like Neon Genesis Evangelion or Trinity Blood or Samurai Shampoo and stuff like that, you can't really compare the two in terms of animation quality because the animation in those anime is actually better than the ones they're putting out in America today. I think, the, I think the best stuff we really have out now that's still on the air is like The Simpsons and Family Guy and American Dad, Futurama, and King of the Hill, or just some of the has some better animation. Now, Nickelodeon, the only good animated show they have is Avatar The Last Airbender. You know, they canceled everything else. I don't know why the fuck they canceled Invader Zim. Invader Zim was a really good series. Rocco's Modern Life was really awesome. They screwed Red and Stimpy up the ass. I don't know why they did that shit. And um, for the most part, in general, the reason why this is, what everybody want to know is that in Japan, they treat comics and anime as a legitimate art form, the way... In, in you know next to movies television music and stuff like that they actually treat it as a legitimate form of self expression over here we always equate cartoons to just being kid stuff you know crap you know just the just the total opposite just like the way we treat our comic books and our comic book heroes we just see them as you know some crap for kids which is n clearly not the case and, and another thing is, is like, people say manga is better than comic books. I prefer anime over American animation, but I prefer American comic books over manga to some degree. You know, that's just my personal opinion. But for the most part, it, it seems to me that's one of the reasons why. Uh, another reason is like, in terms of Disney, 
which was the one that started everything. It, even early anime was inspired by Walt Disney's work. Now they have to look at them, look at their own stuff for inspiration, which makes it better because Disney has stopped making good animated shows and movies. Now there's a few American animators like Ralph Bakshi, who made Fire and Ice, Coonskin, uh, Fritz the Cat the movie, and he animated Cool Cool World, which was bad. It was out of his hands, but uh, he was a good animator. But he really not a, really got screwed by studios to do what he wanted to do. And um, for the most part, there's very few American animation that can match it. At Japanese anime in terms of quality you know anybody can see that now the best I don't know man it's just it just seems like you know the quality is not there for us anymore which leaves which leaves room for Japanese anime to take over now people want to complain about that you know they need to make Americans need to make better cartoons it's as simple as that. I'm not trying to be hard on anybody or try to say anime is better. I'm just saying they're kicking ass right now in terms of animation because we're not, we not making nothing. And whenever we do make something, you know, the character designs and everything looks ugly and there's no detail in there or anything. And the animation is horrible and the writing is not that good. You know, that's why, that's why you know, the Japanese are taking over in that field right now because we're just not trying. And if we are trying, we're just not getting our shot. But that's all I got to say. I'd li I like to have video responses, but leave your comments, please. I'm trying to start a discussion. I really want people to be aware of this, and uh, hopefully this get people thinking and get people talking on YouTube. Hopefully it'll start something. Well, that's it for me. I gotta go. I'll post another video sometime later. Oh, P.S. By the way, by the way. Rebuild of Evangelion. I know I talked about this already, but you know it looks pretty fucking awesome. Sure as hell looks better than. Sure, it sure as hell looks better than most stuff that's coming out right now. But um, you know that's it, man. That's all I got to say. I post your comments, leave video responses, please. I like. I want to start a discussion. Hopefully, it'll get people talking. As always, peace.